Hey guys, lockdown has been hard on my nails in the UK. Uh uh uh, we need to fix this right away. I have been really struggling. I've just had no motivation whatsoever to do my nails. So today I was like, right, we gotta sort this out. So as you can see, I have got my dust collector and my nail drill. They're both Cuckoo brand. So I'm just gonna like file down these nasty chapped chipped looking nails we just need to fix this and do something else right away so i'm going to be doing poly gel nails today i'm going to try out a little pre-valentine's day design try to get me in the mood as it is february and we are coming up to valentine's day so i'm just gonna file down the nails quickly i'm gonna remove as much lifted gel that is on the nail at the moment this is a hard gel that i've got on um, I'm going to file down just the one nail on camera and then I will do the rest off camera and I will show you what it looks like in a minute. So I'm going to be playing with some poly gel today. I've not done poly gel nails in quite a while. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll take off all the hard gel that I've got on my nails and do a little pre-Valentine's Day poly gel nail design for you. I'm going to be basically just extending the nails with poly gel and then doing a little tip in colored poly gel. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It's really kind of hard to explain. But yeah, I'm going to be using all Model 1 um, poly gels and SBD London uh, glittery gel i'll show you in a minute so i'm using the sbd london um files and buffer just to smooth down the nails and i'm going to go in and start prepping my nails in a minute just to make everything all smooth and ready for the poly gel so i've got my cuticle pusher which i'm going to show you in a minute it's just like your normal standard cuticle pusher i'm just going to push back the cuticle a little bit and just clean the nail plate area a little bit this just helps the um, poly gel bond to your nail a little bit better and just gets rid of all of the dead skin that's all around that you can see that all coming out there so if you don't do this but it is so important to do this because if you don't do this but if you skip this step it is your poly gel is not going to last any um, type of service that you do it is not going to last because it it'll pop off a lot quicker because it doesn't adhere to your nail as much so I'm going to just talk about these cuticle nippers that I've got. They are Katie Barnes ones. And as you can see, they've got like a curved edge to them. So it actually prevents you from cutting yourself and you actually get a much cleaner cut. Um, I love these and they're just so gentle and you can actually just like, you know, as you can see, they, they're just so smooth and you can just, you know, um, cut around the whole cuticle area in one bit. This is a poly gel that I'm going to be using. It's a deep nude color. Um, when I was looking at the color, I thought, actually, that's not that bad of a color, and it kind of matches my skin tone. But once I'd actually put it down and cured it, I was like, mm, not that keen of it. So this is a clear poly gel that I had used. There's a clear, and I'd actually just used um, a very, very beautiful glitter gel from SBD London to mix into the clear. So I will show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. So first, we're going to start okay sorry <laughs> i got me a base coat and i got some bonder from young nails and i'm gonna go in with the bonder first i'm gonna do two coats of that just go everywhere um this is an acid free bonder so you don't have to worry too much if you get that onto like your cuticle area or you know your, like your free edge and stuff like that because it is acid free so just give that like a couple of minutes to dry out and you know try and fit your forms when i'm doing poly gel i love using the clear forms because these help the gel cure all the way i've found that when um when i use like different kind of forms um the gel doesn't cure all the way it, it literally when you pop your forms off um the like the underside will be like a bit sticky and yeah it doesn't cure as well so if you can get yourself like these clear kind of forms they really do help clear um sorry cure your poly gel a lot better so yeah that's a little top tip and i'm sure you can find these from amazon i can't remember where i bought these from i think i bought them from like um facebook marketplace but yeah you can find them from amazon um ebay anywhere like that you know they, they're not that majorly expensive um, yeah, so I'll pop those on. So I'm going to go in with my base coat and then cure that for 60 seconds. And then we'll go back in and start with the poly gel. Sorry, you're probably going to hear my phone vibrating. I'm getting messages all at the wrong time, but it can't be helped. <laughs> Swimming, swimming, swimming like a bird, 
so whilst that is curing i am just going to show you i've got my little dampen dish over there and i have got my isopropyl ice i can never say this my alcohol <laughs> it's 70 percent alcohol 70 75 percent alcohol that i bought from um, amazon it came in a big old tube so i basically just use that for um you know for the poly gel you can use a base coat as well if you don't have alcohol but i've never used um base coat so you know i'll give it a go one of these days and let you know what it's like but you can you know if you've got alcohol at hand you can use that as well so yeah when you're going around the cuticle area just just you know be really really careful because you don't want to flood your cuticle area just you know push it as gently as you can um try not to flood it so yeah um just yeah building up the nail as much as i can pushing it forward so i'm going to be going for an almond shape so you'll see what i'm going to be doing it's just basically it's like a 3d kind of nail this is really hard to do when you're doing it on camera and you know trying to remember to stay you know in line so that you're in view of the camera because i kept on like you know veering off and trying to remember to be like okay you know people actually need to see what you're doing um yeah put a little bit too much poly gel on so i just used like the other end of the picker tool just to take it off so i'm trying to perfect that almond shape so when you're doing this as well just make sure that you look at your nail from different angles so that it's as straight as possible because you know when you're looking at it from the top it could look straight but then you could look at it from like the side or you know from forward facing and then all of a sudden you kind of think hmm, that doesn't quite look right so yeah look at it from as many angles as you can just to make sure that you do get a correct shape and obviously don't forget your apex as well especially if you are building a longer nail you really 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 do need an apex and the beauty with poly gel is the fact that as you can see as i'm doing it you know you you can move it about it doesn't set it's not like acrylic where you know it's going to set this you, you know you, you can move it about you can play it with it it's not going to do anything until you want it to so i've obviously gone ahead and i've cured that for 60 seconds and i'm just going to crisp up the edges a little bit just you know to get like a really nice straight line in there and again just wiping that down and filing a little bit more so you know you could if you wanted to just take the form off at this point in time but because i'm gonna go be going back in there and doing like another design i just thought i'd keep the form on but when you're doing this just make sure you take all the dust off you need to make sure that you know even the form has got no dust on um so i'm going back in now with my i don't know what you call this bit like you know like the 3d bit i guess you know you're going to encapsulate this with clear after so if it does look a little bit funny or you know it looks like it doesn't line up with um the rest of the the nude color it, it's fine you are going to be encapsulating it with clear after so it will look absolutely fine um the consistency of this the the red, the red gel with the glitter in it is completely different so you're not going to work with it the same way that um you would like the first layer um, that you were doing so this one you kind of like more just sort of like layer you know like putting it into place rather than um like how i was doing it with a poly gel or you'll see like even with a clear you know you're not sort of tapping it you're just kind of like pushing it if that makes sense um so yeah you're going to go and then now encapsulating it with a clear and you can kind of like run the clear over the the nude as well just so you've got extra room to file because you're going to do quite a bit of filing it's, it's going to look nasty and hideous and you're going to think what the hell is that trust me i thought exactly the same thing when i did it i was like okay um but you know just trust the process um when filing i would probably suggest that you go in with like a 100 grit file because it is going to take quite a little bit of file if you want to you can do this with your e-file but sometimes i just prefer filing with a hand file because it's, it's a good skill to practice and it's, um it's always better to have a good filing technique with a hand file and you know because sometimes i just kind of think if your nail drill ever you know dies on you you know at least you know you've got your hand file and that's what it looks like from underneath nice and shiny and sparkly so i'm gonna go off camera and just kind of finish this off because obviously, obviously everything is shaking and you can't really see that well so i forgot to show you what the rest of the nails look like now that i'm done which was quite silly because i forgot to press record i am so sorry about that but you'll obviously see 
what they all look like in a minute i'm just gonna go in with the, um, the top coat the top coat uh, for some reason was a little bit thick i think it was a bit too cold i should have warmed the bottle up a little bit more before um going in and applying the top coat the weather has been really really cold in the uk recently so you know there's another tip if your gel is really really thick just warm it up in your hands a little bit and you'll find that it will you know be like a bit of consistency so voila there we go there are the nails i am now just rubbing the cuticle oil in and that is my little pre-valentine's day design i'm probably going to be taking this off in a couple of days and doing something else so stay tuned to see what we do next let me know what you think guys